What is happening, everyone? I hope you are having a wonderful Tuesday. North Carolina is wet and gloomy and gross and just rainy, and I am not having it. It's making me very unexcited for winter, but got maternity pictures happening tonight with the wife, so we're gonna go out to a park and get some professional pictures done. My wife is all about pictures and capturing memories, so we're gonna get some maternity pictures done. Uh, the baby's due in October, October 8th, so it's coming up quick. It's gonna be here before we know it. Life is going to change drastically. Speaking of changing drastically, are you using the latest and greatest Blue Beast forms? A couple of them have been updated very recently, including the Greatness Tracker, so I wanna make sure you are on the most up-to-date versions of every form. So I am including them in this email, all of the forms for agents and for lenders, and I'm also including all of the how-to videos for each of those forms. So whether you're filling the forms out, if your team members are helping you fill them out, show them to your team members so that they know how to fill the forms out and they're familiar with them. Maybe brush up on the videos yourself if you have time. I know it's crazy right now, but make some time. Make sure you're using and getting the most out of these Blue Beast forms because they're always changing a little bit, but I'm always gonna let you know when the most recent ones have come out. So make sure you're using the ones in this email for all of your homework moving forward. Got it? All right. So I know we're focused on the 90 day bootcamp. We're focused on external forces outside the office. We're bringing in business, but wanna make sure we're not neglecting inside the office. The culture is still going to be important. The culture is gonna take a hit if all we're focusing on is bringing in business and just loading in more and more and more and more work for our team. And then all of a sudden people are unhappy, they're stressed out and you're gonna have people quit. So how do we keep morale high and keep your employees bought in, keep the team members tightly knit and invested in the company. One great tactic I heard on a very recent audio was have one-on-one -on -one meetings with every single team member. So this is something that I believe Carson Vaughn talked about doing. He actually has a, a breakfast with every single one of his team members twice a year. So every single Wednesday morning. Every week, he has breakfast or coffee with a different team member on his team. That might not be what works for your schedule, but be intentional about little moments, little interactions, and one-on-one -on -one time with your employees and your team members. Make sure that they're feeling cared for. Make sure that they still know that you still appreciate them, that you are still investing into them no matter how busy you get, because that is going to keep their spirits high, it's gonna keep their love tanks filled, and it's gonna make sure that they are fully invested, fully bought in, and able to perform at their best. Really quickly, I wanna shout out Brendan O'Driscoll, giving away a ton of money this year. Year to date, you are blowing everyone else out of the water. Brendan has a very generous spirit, so I wanna just give him some props for that, some attention, even though he know he doesn't like the attention a whole lot, but just wanna give him the spotlight a little bit. Guys, I'm super excited for this month. Cannot wait for September, it's coming quick. So make sure we're ready, make sure you're using the new forms and I will see you guys very soon.